Today we are going to work with the OpenShift resource Secure Context Constraints, the SECs. The SECs are used to control permissions for pods. These permissions include actions that a pod, a collection of containers, can perform and what resources they can access. You can use SECs to define a set of conditions that a pod must run with in order to be accepted. OpenShift ships with eight default system SSCs that you should not change. Uh, if you have a particular deployment or operator or Helm chart that needs certain SECs, you can create custom SECs, which we will make uh, in the course of this presentation. So let's do a basic deployment here of a single pod. And let's take a very quick look at the deployment file. You can see uh, it's just a deployment resource and it's going to deploy a single image and then sleep for 3600 seconds. So let's deploy this. Okay, let's take a look at the pods. In this case, a single pod. And it is up and running. Very simple. Let's now add is we want to run this again, but we want to deploy this running in a privileged mode. So let's take a look at a YAML file. And notice there's a line at the end here. I've added a security context here of privileged true. So what that says is when this pod is deployed, it has to match with an SCC on this system that allows privileged to be true. That means we're running as super user of this pod. All right, so let's, let's try to deploy this. Okay. Let's see how that went. There's my original. Notice there's nothing for this particular pod. Again, staying the same. Let's take a look at my deployments. Okay, notice fab priv, it did not come up. And let's try to observe what happened here. So let's um, OC, let's do a get on deployment fab priv. And let's write that to a YAML file, the output, and type that to grep. And let's look for the messages. Okay, notice it failed. Constraint trying to run as privilege. Privilege containers are not allowed. Okay, so what that is saying is that SCC defined in my deployment file did not match on any in the system. Okay, so let's look what's in the system. Okay, so we have eight default security context constraints that we get with OpenShift. Again, you should not change any of these. If you do need to match on one and your particular deployment, whether it's operator, um, Helm chart or deployment file does not, you can create a custom security context constraint. So let's take a look at, in general, they fall into the restricted SCC, which you can see towards the bottom. So let's write that to a file, and then we will make our own custom SCC. Um, towards the top here, you can see these are some container specific. Remember the SEC controls the pod as well as the containers within the pods ability to access and perform functions. So as you can see here, there's privilege, allow privilege containers. In this case, it was our pod deployment. Uh, we're making a custom SEC here. So let's find the name. We know it was named restricted. 
Okay, so let's change this. Name it Barry. Let's go to the bottom. And what allows you to run as a uh, privileged user is this parameter right here, run as user. In this case, must run as means not privileged. So what we're gonna do is say, run as any. Okay, let's save this. Now let's apply this SCC. Okay, so Barry was created. If we now go back and take a look at our deployment, we know that we had failed when we tried to deploy fab prib before. So let's try again. Okay. Maybe we should, let's, de let's delete that first. Let's apply this. Okay. Okay, now we know that container is creating and it's now running. So notice now when since we've added that new SCC, we are allowed to deploy that pod in a privileged mode. And let's take a look deeper into that pod. because it had to match on an SCC for it to even come up. So let's take a look. Okay, what's interesting is notice in the metadata, the annotations in the metadata they tell us which SCC this matched on. It did in fact match on Barry, which allowed it to boot up. So that is a very, very quick way for you to really understand you know, what security context constraint you are running as. This is very powerful for allowing you to just see the dynamics of within your system, within your administration policies, how you can configure, um, use the default SCCs, create your own to actually boot up. So with that, I hope everybody uh, finds this useful. And I know um, we run into a lot of SCC problems and hopefully this helps you uh, when you hit these problems in the future. Thank you.